Hello, Real Mithril here once again, and it's time for another Durgan one-off. This time we're going to be playing Tiny Rogues, which, uh, you know, it's plain to me I just really enjoy roguelites. Gods, a lot of the things I've played in the one-off series have been such. <laughs> Haven't really thought about it, but it's true. All right. So, let's begin. Basically, this is indeed a roguelite type game in which you run through a dungeon. You have various classes here to use. Very retro aesthetic. I don't think I've actually finished around with the default hero. So yeah, a hot-blooded young hero on a quest to vanquish humanity's biggest adversary. Can they defeat death? So, the hero is kind of a jack-of-all-trades master of none, as one might expect. So let's begin. Welcome to the pit. So you use WASD to move, arrow keys to fire. Looking at his inventory, he definitely has options. There's the apprentice wand, which as you can see from the letters there, it has a D rank in intelligence. The wooden sword has a D rank in physical strength, and the bow has a D rank in dexterity. Well, we have something that's going to raise our dex, so this is probably the best option to go with. So we're going to equip this and switch it with our wand. So there we go. Now we're firing arrows. Each room gives you a challenge of various enemies you have to fight. And upon defeating them, you get a reward, in this case, broccoli which gives us experience and plus three dex. Unfortunately, I don't have any bombs right now, so I can't go in here to get the candy for intelligence. So instead, we're going for gold. Money. More dex? Absolutely. Let's see. Bombs or souls? Souls can be used in certain areas to buy resources. Bombs, those get us through secret passages. Overall, though, I think souls are going to be more useful. Event, where could it lead? Ooh, cursed meat shank. That's unfortunate. Here rests a once powerful hero. They fought valiantly to protect the innocent. Hearing about the hero's legacy fills you with determination. I'm not playing Undertale. But it gave us an extra heart. That's nice. So I don't really want the cursed meat shank, so instead we'll go for the wooden chest. Simple rewards. And we got some bombs. Okay, this is a locked door, so I would need a key for that. Don't have it. So... Gold it is. Let's see. I could go for the one bonus strength or some extra life. I mean, as it is, I'm definitely building decks, so I think I'm going to take that for now and just go ahead and get more life. Now, it's only a temporary hit. If anything hits me, the Blue Hearts, they're lost forever. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the uncommon item. Oh, it's boss time. Nothing can stop me. It's the Minotaur. Stand still. You make me angry. So yes, bosses pretty much always have two health bars to get through. And naturally, you'll want to pay attention to how exactly their attacks are working. But simple enough, boss one down. You get a crown and souls for your efforts. So let's see what we've got. Rogue Boots. Uncommon Boots. On dash, gain Stealth. Stealth is a buff that grants plus 10 critical hit chance and lasts 8 seconds... Er, 
Yeah, I guess that is eight seconds. Okay. Sage robe. Increased magic damage. Rose ring. Thrusting damage inflicts bleed. Well, I'm not using that. I'm not using magic, so I guess boots it is. Which I should already have that equipped, I think. Yes, I didn't have any boots previously. All right, so down we go. But as you can see, we have a long way to go. I want to hang on to my souls for now. But hey, let's get more decks. Now, truthfully, there are situations where it can be good to go for the stat items, even if it's not the stat you're building. And that is because the stat items also give you experience. Gain enough experience, and you get a passive skill. Basically, you level up. Uh, let's see if we can get a better weapon. What do we got? Falchion. Is it Falchion or Falchion? I've never really been sure. Has a C in both strength and dexterity, which means leveling both those stats will help it. Arcane Shuriken. C for both intelligence and dex. Stake Crossbow. C and C for uh, both strength and dex. So, let's see here. Okay, this is good against undead. Let's see, drains mana, which I think gives it some extra power. This one is just basic damage. This one, though, I think is faster than my current weapon. The others are slower. Okay, even the crude bow is two-handed, so that's not really a change. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this. All right. So, let's see. I really should have paid attention to this, because this is dex and int. But we'll get it anyway for the dex. But hey, we do have some undead enemies on this floor, so... It's not a terrible pick. Delicious. Alright. Lethality. Gain 150% crit multiplier at close range. Resolute Technique. Your crit hit chance is zero, but you gain 100% crushing hit chance. On crit hit, inflict fatigue. Periodically mark the lowest health enemy with Rogue's Mark every 10 seconds. Guarantees 10 critical hits. Yeah, let's go with that, actually. Okay, we do need some... Or no, we don't actually need Int right now. Though I think I'd rather have that than the Booze. Booze isn't necessarily a bad thing, at least in so much as this game is concerned as you get different booze perks depending on which drinks you drink. But you can only drink so many. Basically, you can only hold so much liquor. Pair for decks, absolutely. Still don't have any keys, so I can't go in the arcade, sadly. But we'll get more bombs. You keep offering me keys when the other item is more interesting for me. I want the decks. Gold or a random potion? Potions give you a temporary boost that works for a few rooms or floors. There is actually a perk that you can get on some classes that makes any potion effects you get permanent. That can get broken. Unfortunately, I'm not sure this guy gets that one. So we'll go for more money. Ok, 
Guaranteed Helmet or Random Companion? Companions are good. Who dares to enter my lair? Someone with a crossbow that should be good against you. Up, oh, first hit of the run. Was a little bit closed in there. I might have underestimated you a little bit. Good for you. And there we go. Second boss down. Got the crown, got some souls. And what do we got? Jar of Goo summons a slime companion. Let's see. Snake Basket summons snake companions. Pixie Dust summons a pixie companion. I feel like I remember having had the snake basket once, and it's pretty nice. Ah yes, there he is. We have a snake. Again! They give me this choice! I am closing in on another level up, so I may just want this regardless. <laughs> Two keys, but they're cursed. But we do need strength now as well. That'll power up our bow. And also, keep me from getting cursed. Saw the poison mark on that beehive, so the snake is doing work. Alright, what do we got? Step of the Wind. On dash, gain full stacks of Tailwind and trigger your on-combat start effects. Point blank. Range of attacks gain 100% crushing hit chance at close range. After not attacking for one second, stock up on one guaranteed critical hit with primary attacks up to a maximum of 10. I mean, some enemies are going to try and rush me down, so point blank might not be a bad idea. I didn't mean to open that. Okay. Can we get something better? You look like you might be good. B rank purely in dex, deadly sniper bow. 50% crit hit damage, 100% lethal hit chance with hits at far range. Taser's rankings don't look quite as good. I mean, honestly, why not? So yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Looks like it fires a bit faster. Pawn shop. Sell weapons and equipment. Eh, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't really want the wooden sword. So, let's see here. As you can see, it has been a while since I've played this game, so relearning some of the controls here and there. Oh, there we go. Ugh, a wooden sword? Not the best. How about three gold? Sure. Splendid. Similarly, don't want the crude bow anymore. Three gold for that. I'll hang on to the rest for now. I'm doing okay on gold. Let's see if maybe we can get some keys out of this chest. Money! Okay. There, we can get a key. <laughs> Uh, 
at long last. That's just how some rows, uh, some runs go in these sorts of things. Like, I've had runs of Binding of Isaac where I am just very key poor the whole run. <laughs> Okay, tavern. All right. What have we got in here? I'm a knight of the Order of the Silver Flying Dragon. Show me your weapon, traveler. Yikes, not the best weapon. You should really try and find something better. I doubt you'll be making it very far. Gee, thanks. You, I believe, can enchant my weapon, but mine already is... You're a healer, but I don't need it. You sell booze, I don't really want it. You refresh everyone. Uh, no thanks. I'm so drunk I can't even stand up. I decided I'm just gonna sit here and accept it. You know... I don't know whether to congratulate you for your acceptance or not. <laughs> Sadly, that tavern didn't really have anything that good for us. Guaranteed magic weapon, guaranteed set item. I'm pretty happy with my bow, so let's go for a set item. A bee! Those who invade my hive shall be punished. The queen bee! You should have escaped while you could. I'm done holding back. I mean, I hate to tell you, you weren't all that threatening overall. What do we got? Fletching hat. 20% increased bow and crossbow damage? Absolutely. But I'll look at the other stuff. Demolition gloves. Increased explosion area radius. Skull charm. Increased damage... Ah, uh, Delta Bosses, hmm. But I think overall this is going to be better. And again, I guess I didn't have a hat yet. Because yes, I am wearing it. But we're not going downstairs just yet. First, to the law shop. So the items here, I can spend souls to get them. Getting items from this changes my alignment. And to get further in the game, I actually have to have a certain amount of lawfulness. Mind Charm. Uh, that's not super useful. Quartz Bracelet. Magic Damage. Goat Horn. Unfortunately, I can't have more than one summon right now. None of these are super useful for me, but I still need to buy stuff to gain lawful alignment. So, I'm just going to go ahead and buy all of these for now. And I'll just hang on to them. So, looking at this, I am currently at lawful, but I need to be true lawful, which I think means I need one more. So, I'll have to visit another law shop at some point. Uh <sighs> Yeah, another key's good. The bullets are getting harder to dodge. Uh, let's see here. Yes, I believe you saw that right. I was being targeted by party horns. This game is very silly sometimes. 
So, I have to bomb this to actually get the goodies. Rare weapons. Helix Bow plus two. B rank in both decks and in intelligence. DNA alteration. Stackable status effect that consumes all stacks to deal 100% of accumulated damage as wound damage upon reaching two stacks. Those are a lot of words. Money gun. <laughs> uh, only D rank, though. Not great. Magitech hammer plus two. Unfortunately, dex does not affect that one, and dex is very much our best stat right now. Let's give this a try. Well, it's certainly pretty. Okay, random consumables or warrior stash. I don't really want a melee weapon. This seems like it's doing pretty good damage. Crystallized Soul Heart. Consumable. Grants one Soul Heart. Yes, please. Green Blossom. Grants Stamina Surge on Consumption. Grants one Stamina and lasts one room. Okay, not amazing, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this to get the Soul Heart. Grants three random rewards. Two keys and another Green Blossom. Eh, uh, long last a shop. I can just buy broccoli. Why not? Salad is... One dex, minus one strength. This was strength and int, I think, so... I might be okay with that. And, uh... Yeah, may as well get another key. Blacksmith. Upgrade weapons and repair armor. Very useful. We can go ahead and upgrade this. With that, our bow is at max power, because it started as a plus two. Very nice, that. We got plenty of keys. Uh, it... I we might not need it. That was a mimic. Hi there. Oh, unfortunately, well, this would have been a free upgrade, but I didn't know we were going to get it. Power Shard grants 1 XP. Why not? I can hold on to this just in case I end up swapping weapons again. But let's raise our int. Mana Forged Bolts. On draining an accumulated amount of one mana, trigger a volley of magical bolts. That's only if I have a magic weapon, which I don't. Lucky hits are always super effective and grant cheap shot. On applying a mark, fear the enemy and trigger your on-kill effects. Grants plus ten power per companion you have. Which also increases companion damage. Sure, make my snake stronger. Do I have any gloves right now? I do not. Who are you? You don't belong here. Nobody can know. We cannot let you leave. Alright, shambling mound, if you say so. Oh, that was a bad place to stand. That was a very bad place to stand. Mistakes were made. I don't know why my instinct was to stay in that ring. It was not good instinct. Okay, this is going to make me encumbered. Let's see. Increases close range damage. Grants me one armor. Uh, 
Hmm. Oh, I can't even hold anything right now anyway, that's right. I'll just go ahead and use that to open up a space. Alright, technically I would have equipped that anyway. But yeah, having the armor is not a bad idea. Gonna go ahead and drink one of my health flasks just to refill the heart I lost. They do have points where you can refill them at the very least. Uh, yeah, we're just tanking strength at this point. Will I come to regret this later? Who knows? More int, absolutely. More decks, absolutely. I mean, if they're going to keep giving me the stats I need, I'm happy. Lock chest that contains a weapon, but we don't know what kind. But hey, we can try. What you got for me? Gatling gun. <laughs> Unfortunately, the stats are worse. Oh, and you know, I think I have been reading that stat wrong. Attacks per second, not... It, uh, I... I interpreted that very wrong. Again, mistakes were made. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Let's see, I could go here to repair my armor. I'd rather have that than a melee weapon, after all. C cursed many bombs How many? Cursed many! Sacrifice a heart. And we get Fletching Quiver. Set offhand. Makes me massively encumbered. Though, it does combine with the fletching hat that I'm wearing, so that might be good. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's get an epic item. I am blessed with the power of the sun. I will use this power to stop you. Very well, Sphinx. I guess we're not just doing the traditional riddles, huh? You truly are a burden to this world. I'm done holding back. Rude. Alright, let's see what we've got. Pain Loop. Grants four seconds of invincibility after taking damage and adds your invincibility duration after taking damage to the duration of your status effects. Flower Pot. That, that's a helmet. Well, I don't want to replace my hat. Same for the Ice Crown. So I guess I'll pick this up for now. I don't know if I want to replace my current ring, though. Because, yeah, that's giving me a heart container. So let's see what we can get from the law shop. Flow charm. Grants 20% faster tick rate of periodical effects. I think that would include the snake's poison. So that I am pure lawful. So that's all I really need to buy. 
So I'm going to save the rest of my souls for now. Because there are other things we can use them on. Uh, let's see. Go with this for now. Ugly Christmas sweater. Periodically intimidates all enemies in the room. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm already wearing something. I don't think that's really going to help all that much. <laughs> but that is a funny item. Petrified armor, yes. Let's get some extra protection, shall we? Though pretty soon here, I am going to need more bombs. And we have an armory. Ah, that's only C rank. That's not very good. Only B rank, but only for B rank, but only for Dex. Yeah, that's E for Dex. And again, none of these are particularly great. Mm. Honestly, what I might do is just get this and have it to sell at the next pawn shop I get to. Leveling up again. What do we got? All range damage is always considered to be at close range, which I think I have something that would benefit that. Well, I know where we're going after this, because I definitely need the bombs. Alright. So, yeah. Don't really want this. 13 gold. Lovely. Uh, I think we've pretty solidly outclassed this. 15 for that. Similarly, I don't think we want this anymore. 4 gold. Yeah, I don't really want that. Four gold. If I can ever get more companion ability, it would be nice to hang on to that. I don't really know that I want to replace my heart container. Fifteen gold for it. So yeah, I think we're good. Now, give me those delicious bombs. I think this bow is maxed, so I don't think I really need the blacksmith, do I? Yeah, that's already at three. My armor's all healed, so yeah, let's get some money. Oh, we have an event. Greetings. Are you here to learn ancient combat techniques? Okay. I shall teach you one lesson, but one lesson only. You must decide on which lesson I shall teach you. Lesson of true might, true speed, true precision. Uh... Let's go with true speed. Ready up, follow my moves. We're playing Simon. That was an exceptional performance. It seems you've mastered my technique. 
Mastering the Lesson of True Speed permanently grants you plus 10 movement and attack speed. Nice! I'm happy with that. Can't do anything with this book. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get as far as charms. I am the Sentinel of Wisdom and Knowledge. You're not worthy of the library secrets. Library Guardian. It is an owl! I've tolerated your disrespect long enough. This sacred place will be your grave, buried beneath the sands of time. Well, fine then. This bow is pretty good. <laughs> Grants plus one maximum companion capacity. Heck yeah. Behold, a goat. By the power of snake and goat. Okay. Mm, that's 30 souls. Don't quite have that. Because, yeah, ultimately that's kind of what I want. Because you can cash in sir, uh, 30 souls for a heart container, basically. Now that I don't have to use the law shop anymore. Leprechaun hat. <laughs> I'll pick it up, but I don't think I really want that. I do not want the chocolate, because I want to hang on to Dex. Mana Potion grants Mana Potion on Consumption. Grants plus, teen, uh, plus 15 Mana Drain, Refund, and last 10 Rooms. Stamina Potion grants Faster Stamina Recovery. Yes, I would very much like a soul heart. So yeah, stamina, you've probably noticed, that's used with dashing, which you can use that to dodge attacks, things like that. Mana, notice the three gray stars there. I'm not using them because I'm not using a magic-based weapon. That's an entirely different system. <laughs> well, let's get some int. I don't want a mana re uh, or a melee weapon. Flask refill. Refills one heart flask. Sure thing. Gimme. Well, let's see who's in the tavern today. Well, we do have you. Hello. You look a little roughed up. Need some healing? Ten gold? Absolutely. So we refilled our heart. see. Oh yeah, the Helix Bow isn't actually enchanted. Fancy some magic for your quest? I bring a fairy tale branch from a land far, far away. Interested? It enchants your weapon with the Arcane modifier, which actually would make this a magic weapon, which could be useful. Magical choice. This branch could weave some exciting twists in, our, in your story, or perhaps ours. Tee hee hee. So let's go ahead and use that. So yes, as you can see, it's draining the meter now. Which, there are certain effects that want you to go through the entirety of the meter. The beer here is decent, but my brew is legendary. You seem like a strong lad. I'll offer you some. What do you say? A bottle of mead? Adds one tipsiness grants mead on consumption. Stackable Booze Buff that grants 10% increased melee attack speed and adds one tipsiness per stack. Which, nope. I'm not using melee. What's yours? What do you got? Sake. Melee critical hit. No thank you. 
Or we could get random booze. Beer. 10% increased damage. Which, I mean, honestly, I may as well. Go ahead and drink two of them. Uh, let's see here. Wouldn't hurt to have a little strength back. Because I think that may also influence carry weight, so it might help me with my being encumbered. And hey, who doesn't want Berg? Well, well. What do we have here? A landlubber in my territory? Prepare for a rough sea, mate. Yes, it's a walrus and a captain hat. <laughs> Commander Walrus! <laughs> like I said, this game can be very silly sometimes. I approve. Oi, matey. Time to call in the big guns. Seagulls, attack! Oh, no, always the birds. Not the birds. Yes, these seagulls are bringing in bombs. <laughs> The fights are just so funny in this game. Evasion Charm. Plus one evade. Evade prevents one hit of damage taken, refreshes after completing five combat encounters without taking damage or evading. 25% increased damage dealt to dragons. And that's armor. Honestly, knowing certain things, I think I want the dragon damage. I don't really think I want to bother with the law shop anymore, so let's just move on. Because I have the alignment I need, so we're just going to go for it. And we're going to get a heart container. Gain favor. Technically, you can also choose extra stamina or extra mana. I want the health. Alright. Cake boosts both stats we need. You guys have some rather hefty attacks. Mage stash. Thing is, I'm pretty happy with my current weapon. Random dice. Three to four random dice. Those, as you can imagine, can be used to re uh, to reroll things. And what they re-roll, it depends on the type of die. So what all we got? We have two red dice, re-rolls upcoming rewards for next rooms. Ethereal dice, re-rolls offered traits in trait selection. Golden dice, re-rolls offered items from shops, armories, and boss rewards. And obsidian dice, allows you to exchange a trait with a random new trait. So if there's just a trait that we get that we are really unhappy with, we also have this. Twilight Branch. Applies random enchantment modifier to weapon. Eh, couldn't hurt if we end up changing weapons again at some point. But I'm just gonna say, this weapon's been pretty darn good. The enemies are definitely getting trickier, though. I see those eyes. That's a mimic. Yeah, the stats aren't great on that one. Acoustic guitar. <laughs> yes, there is a bard class where you really want music weapons. Heart container. Grants one maximum heart. Absolutely. Uh, though I will have to temporarily get rid of something so that I can buy that. Because, I mean, I don't really have any use for these.
Oh, it just automatically uses it. There are some items like that that you have to pick up before you're allowed to use it. Bucket. Oh, it's a helmet. Key. I am out of those, so yes, please. Go ahead and pick that back up. And bomb this so we can go into the blacksmith and repair our armor again. We're close to another level up, so let's get another pair. Delicious. Lightning Conductor. On non-triggered lucky hit, trigger a chain lightning that deals 44 to 4,000 <laughs> lightning damage. That's quite the range. Aesthetics Discipline. On dash, mark the nearest enemy with Aesthetics Mark. Guarantees 5 crushing hits. Earned luck. Each point of dex additionally grants 1% lucky hit chance. 26 total currently. My current is already 20%, so Lightning Conductor might be the way to go. Look, a tiny challenger. So small indeed, but let's not underestimate this ant. Yuck, I want to crush it. Any last words, intruder? The King's Guard. Fool, too feeble for your own hammer's sway. May your demise hold more purpose than your pitiful existence. So yes, the second phase of this fight actually changes depending on who you eliminate first. But there we go. Anything of interest? Assassin Gloves. Grant 10% critical hit chance against enemies affected by damage over time effect. Clockwork boots. On dash effects. I don't think I have any on dash effects. Uh, getting that would get rid of my... Uh, my extra arrows. I don't know that I really want to take any of these, but it's going to force me to. So again, I'm just going to drop one of these. I'll take these in case they end up feeling like something better to shift to. But right now I want to keep the gloves that I have because they're giving me one piece of armor. And hey, that's one extra hit. The way things get, that can be very, very necessary to have on hand. Uh, let's go for some extra strength. I didn't have any more dashes. Eh, we're running low on gold. Sure, why not? For some reason, I find myself having a lot of problems with those turret enemies sometimes. Like previous runs, they've always been an issue for me. Legendary weapons. Sniper's Michelangelo. <laughs> it's plus two. It does have mana drain on it. Sniper's. Plus 20 critical hit chance. Primary attack deals 395 to 996 fire damage. Uh, a lot of cold damage, a lot of lightning damage, or a lot of poison damage. That sounds nice. Well, I'll see what else we've got. Merciless Mega Machine Gun. Divine Tri-Chakrams. Divine Nimbus Scroll. I want to say it's behind... It's between the Tri-Chakrams or the Michelangelo. For the name alone, I'm leaning toward this. So we will have to drop something. I mean, this isn't doing much for me.
Well, that's just a lot going on, and that's fun. Also, since this is only level 2, I can go ahead and get rid of this. Make it 3. I... Well, there's a pawn shop there. I could go ahead and sell this off. Um, but there's also keys. That's probably more useful. Okay, uh, what's in the shop? What even are the boots that I have right now? Alright, I gained stealth. These are... Gain pursuit. Increased attack, 20% uh, increased attack and 10% movement speed on inflicting a mark. Uh, I don't know if it's really worth it. That is indeed a big treasure chest. A lot of stuff in there. Repairs all armor points. That's good. That's useful. Can't be used during combat. That's important to know. Power shard for an extra experience point. Go ahead and pick that up to use later. Shrine grants a permanent blessing. See if I can get something good out of this. Let's you choose one of three permanent blessings. Choose one. One good alignment. I don't really care about that too much right now. Increased trigger damage. Plus 2.5 crit chance. I'm not entirely sure what trigger damage means, unfortunately. I think it might be like the on this effect type things. The extra crit chance, that just might be more universally a good thing. You're not locked at all, you're a mimic. I saw the eyes. I don't think either of these really do it for me compared to what I've got. Yeah. In my master's stead, I am here to protect his domain. Prepare for your imminent annihilation. Arcane Golem. Wow, I'm just doing all of the status effects with this bow. I like it. No one escapes my master's domain. I cannot let you live to tell the tale of his wondrous machinations. I think I'm living to tell the tale. Cold damage inflicts burn, and burn damage dealt additionally is based on cold infliction damage. I mean, considering I'm using so many different status effects, that could be good. Mm, but again, I just know how quick I am to run out of health is the problem. I don't think either of these are really... Yeah, this is melee attacks, which I'm not using. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't really know that I want any of these. But I'll go ahead and heal my armor so that I can pick this up. Because if any of them, that seems like the most plausible I may get, uh, get to a point of wanting to switch. Got living weapons flying around, looks like. More Dex and Int, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Eh. More dice, why not? One problem I have is I tend to forget that I have dice. I don't know how they let me get away with dodging that laser. I don't feel like I should have. Being completely honest. Wrath Potion. Honestly, might be better than something I've got. I'll go ahead and chug it just to take the benefit for now, may as well. Berserker Potion. Increases attack speed by 10% and lasts 10 rooms. Again, may as well take that. That sounds like a good thing to have. Did not get away with dodging that laser, however. All of my attacks count as close range due to something else I have, I believe. But what is this? 40 more attack speed. But honestly, I feel like I want this. Okay, let's repair the armor again. At this point, I don't really think I want to tank strength anymore, and also my experience is at max at this point. So, like, I can still get stat items and get stat bonuses, but I won't be able to level up anymore and gain, like, extra buffs or anything. Yeah, I don't think I want to exchange either of those. Blast, I don't have a key, so I can't go in there. <laughs> oh, well. Power Potion. Grants 20 power and lasts 10 rooms. Increases damage in area radius. At this point... I don't think I'm going to use the Twilight Branch for anything. I don't think I'm going to switch back to the Helix Bow. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. Due to certain controls being the same thing, I just kept picking things back up. I don't think I'm going to switch my gauntlets at any point. I'll hang on to the ring, though. I'm kind of wondering if I just want to stockpile potions at this point for the end. Let's go ahead and fully recover. Are you really going to try and tempt me with another ranged weapon? I 
I just don't really see it being any better than what I've got. Whereas, I might be able to get a better charm. Because what even do I have? That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Actually, those might all be good. So, let's see what we can get here. In the end, all mortals bow to death. You are no exception to this rule. You've come very far, count me impressed. But nonetheless, your time has come. You need to die. Really feel like that should have hit me. That one did. Now we're even. Enough! Fool! Usurper! Cluck eye? Yeah, all right. Grandmaster Shuriken. Toad Plague. Yeah, I mean, none of these are going to replace what I have, but we'll move on. So, early on in the game, this is as far as you get. But once you've gotten enough clears, you move on to this. And we can proceed. This great seems locked for good. What could warrant such heavy reinforcement? I'm still not really sure what this is all about. So we continue the run. Essentially what we're after at this point is there are two extra floors we have to try and get through. I've made it to the final boss of that second extra floor, but I have never beaten it. Man, those full-range screen attacks. Extra crit chance, sure. Grants a permanent cursed blessing. I'm not so sure I want that. But boy, they really want to give me that curse shrine, don't they? Increased companion damage. I mean, Snack and Goat are doing work. This is blue, so I think that's a soul shop, which I don't really want to spend my souls. But what I do want to spend is my drinks. <laughs> Spore pine resin. Grants poison damage. Alright. One to two random trait tomes.
Replaces a trait with one step ahead. Repeated attacks have double their critical hit multiplier, and on dash, repeat your next attack. Pointy end. Thrusting damage from you and your companions inflicts a stack of puncture. I don't know that I really want either of those, to be honest. So, let's recover. Sadly, that does not heal my armor. I've been awaiting you, mortal. I felt your presence inching ever closer. I am Geryon, Draconic Lich, Purveyor of Souls and High Magistrate of Death. And the reason why I wanted the dragon damage, at least it would make sense if that does extra damage to you. Mortal, your mere heartbeat is an anomaly in this realm of silence. Why have you come? Many have tried to conquer the shadows, only to become one with them. Do you think you're any different? Death's embrace is inevitable, and this time I am its harbinger. Your journey ends here, in the cold grasp of the void. So this fight has a few different phases to it, because the main target is not out while the hands are. I believe there is also a point where he just kind of summons various undead minions to attack. Arise, undead legion. Like that. Which, as long as this is going on, he keeps kind of healing a little bit. I think you basically have to finish the legion before you can finish him off. He's just delaying the inevitable... Your defiance is but a brief spark of light in an endless sea of darkness. You will become a mere whisper, forever lost in eternal silence. The shadows grow denser, the chill more profound. I feel my power surge. Your end is nigh. Yield to the eternal night. Stop resisting! You're not even the final boss. Stop it. Bow to death! I don't feel like that attack should have hit me, but maybe it should have. There we go. So we're on to the final set of floors at least. Photon Barrier. Uh, that would, I can't use this because the bow can only have quivers as offhands. Full stacks of speed boost every second. That may actually be useful. So yeah, that's not doing anything for me. Yes, the increased movement speed is useful. Who'd have thought? So now, I am judged. And I am lawful enough to continue. Worthy, you may proceed. If you don't have enough points in lawful alignment, you have to investigate that cup over there and it just outright kills you to end your run. But I think it still counts as a win. I have enough souls that I can heal both here and at the end of the floor, so yes. We'll go ahead and do that. These floors have some weird enemies, including ones that can teleport you, so that's always unsettling. There are some that have effects that I'm not entirely sure how they work. It's very strange. A 
like the grandfather clock there. I'm not entirely sure what that does. I know it's bad. Your time is almost up. I think if you get a certain number of stacks of that, it just outright kills you. But it does wear off between rooms, I believe. Mana potion. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of these. Honestly, at this point, I think I can safely use all the potions because I believe they last 10 runes. And that's about how much we've got left. So, let's potion up. No, they can't all be crits, so that might be a good thing to have, just as a backup. Stop throwing clocks at me, it's rude! More pet damage, yes please. See if we can get any more useful potions this way. Because, I mean, hey, I didn't get a win on Balatro on camera. It'd be nice to get a win on here, at least. Yeah, again, I think that's just a soul shop. But also, I don't think I really need keys, so... Hmm, actually. Uh, but that's 14 souls. That's a lot. <laughs> Banana monkey companions. Ah, uh, man. Because I kind of want to hang on to the souls I have. Because I want to be able to heal at the end of the floor. Ah, that is unfortunate. But we're just gonna go for it. Stop throwing clocks! In the end, it probably would have been worth it since I didn't lose more than one heart there. Getting the armor probably would have been better. Grants 5 to 50 lightning damage. We're just stacking all the effects. Fully recover. The throne. Overcome one final obstacle before ascending the throne. Your kind. Your kind is a plague. Humans, never satisfied. You trespass sacred grounds. You disrupt nature's peace. You break the cycle of life and death. You serve a false god. Do you really think they won't betray you? I have seen many fools, but none as dangerous as you. It seems upon me to stop you. Our little dance ends here. You are insignificant. You are nothing. How rude! Primal death. So yes, I have never defeated this boss. Those are some thick lasers. Aren't you tired of playing God? You are nothing but a puppet. You are infected with hunger. Hunger for power, for treasure, for knowledge. But it must take an end. The balance cannot be disturbed any further. It seems to be time. Time for one final act of mercy. I will relieve you from your quest. This is it. This is the end. I've gotten to the second phase of this fight before, but I've never managed to finish it. Now the good news is I do have a revive still. 
That's what the cross up there in my uh, menu means. Angel of Death, defeat Primal Death. I actually did it! <laughs> abyss Key. One of the three keys required to open the sealed gate to the Abyss. So that's what that thing is. We actually got a winning run on camera. Excellent. We welcome you. My liege. Bows. We welcome you. My lord. Bows. Take seat, your highness. Is that just what all you say? Yes, okay. Take seat on the throne. It's a long way to the top. Ascend the primordial throne. You've accomplished the impossible. You've become the embodiment of death. A new master. The new keeper of order. Chosen by the shadows. We serve your highness. A mortal no longer. Now ruling the shadow planes. But even the glory of becoming a god eventually fades into eternity. Death claims no. What, did I just die of boredom? <laughs> I guess they have to get you back to the start somehow. Objective completed. The end? Your world tier is now 5. Achieving this world objective unlocked the gates to high heavens and burning hells. So we gain some meta experience. You can use that to use skill points on just kind of a overall tree of skills. So, let's see. I didn't quite level up. <laughs> I must be, like, right at the end of that level. So, yeah, I still can't put anything else in. Oh, yeah. I need just under 50 more points. <laughs> Figures. But, hey, we got a winning run. So, yeah, that was my first winning run at this particular level. Obviously, I have gotten some winning runs before on... Uh, on easier runs to get up to where I am now. But that was the first time I beat that boss. So hey, got it on camera? Nice. So that, thank you very, uh, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Tiny Rogues, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. Though also I suppose I should mention, because somebody else mentioned this on the Balatro video, uh, bemoaning the fact that it was a one-off, I'm not adverse to doing more runs on these kinds of games that I've been playing as one-offs. Because, like I said, a lot of these are roguelites and uh, games of that style. So, hey, there's always reason to play them more times than just one. So if there's interest, maybe I'll do more runs of this in the future. But for now, yeah, that's the end of this one. Man, I am so happy I got a good run. ha <laughs> ha!